the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Knowing that our loving God always wants to be with us, we pause a moment as we acknowledge our weakness and sinfulness and ask for forgiveness. From the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing, uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be Thanks to God. God. I will sing of your salvation. I will, I will sing, sing of your salvation. salvation. In you, O oh Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will, I will sing of your salvation. salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb you are my strength. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth and till the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will, I will sing of your salvation. salvation. Praise to you.
Glory to you, O Lord. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, Amen. I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another at a loss as to whom he meant. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, What you are going to do, do quickly. Now, none of those reclining at table realized why he said this to him. Some thought that since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, buy what we need for the feast, or to give something to the poor. So G Judas took the morsel and left at once, and it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, for I go, you cannot come. So now I say it to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. In the last couple of weeks, in the Gospel that we've been having for uh, weekday Masses, we have followed the growing animosity uh, for Jesus as he revealed more and more of uh, his identity with the Father. <clears throat> and uh, they, especially some of the Pharisees who were hostile to him, uh, saw him and interpreted that he was claiming to be divine. So we could expect some animosity from the enemy, but not from among uh, or one's own ranks. <clears throat> that reminded me years ago when I was an, an assistant in a parish. Someone got into the uh, rectory and the parish offices and stole the collection. There was no sign of a forced entry, no broken windows, no smashed down door, no a uh, door that was jimmied to be bypassed. <clears throat> At the next staff meeting, the pastor made the comment, <clears throat> it looks like an inside job. You can imagine how that comment stunned all of us. <clears throat> uh, and we looked around, I kind of looked at oneself and glanced around a bit, who who, who, who shows a, a guilty face? <clears throat> I did not suspect any of the staff people. I felt they were all good, trustworthy people, <clears throat> and uh, uh, I had no suspicion myself that any of the staff was involved in it. First of all, I trusted all of them. But secondly, too, I had good.
good evidence as well that somebody else got into the house. And I say that because one of the brothers in the old brother in the house had the usual task of locking the church at night, and he was always very conscientious about that, so I did suspect that. But he went on vacation and had asked me about uh, locking up at night, and I said, oh, glad we do that for you. <clears throat> well, in the course of those two weeks, as I made the rounds, <clears throat> uh, not so much the church door, but around the rectory and the <clears throat> our parish house, I found a couple times where either a lock was not properly set, or if the door were a door closure, was closed to close the door, but didn't quite, quite shut the lock. So I just said, hey, spend a couple of evenings here in these two weeks' time if someone could just come around <clears throat> and at night check some doors and find themselves just walk in freely. So I um, would be <clears throat> very confident it was someone like that that made their way in. <clears throat> Whether it was past disgruntled employee, I have no idea because I don't know who some of the previous employees had been. Anyway, as I said, it's, it startled all of us as well as also um, stunned. Uh, <clears throat> And I imagine too when Jesus said, as we heard in the gospel, one, I say to you, one of you will betray me. <clears throat> we may wonder uh, why, why did Judas betray our Lord? Well, one of the theories, and that's what it is, just a theory, because we don't know why. One of the theories is that Judas really believed Jesus to be the Messiah, and he did not intend or want the death of Jesus. But Judas had his ideas about how the Messiah should be going about to establish <clears throat> the kingdom. And things just weren't going the way Judas thought uh, they should. In fact, things seemed to be going just the opposite direction. And uh, uh, Judas <clears throat> wanted to, uh, we might say, try to force the hand of Jesus. He had seen Jesus uh, get out of troublesome spots before and figured if he would betray him, that it would force the hand of Jesus to pull off some marvelous feet to uh, establish the, the kingdom. The kingdom that Judas had in mind was the mighty one here on this earth <clears throat> and not the heavenly kingdom that Jesus had been talking about. And uh, <clears throat> uh, he wanted a kingdom where the uh, 12 apostles as were all in a good position there to have some places of prominence in that earthly kingdom that Judas expected Jesus to establish. And that's not, that opinion was rather common, even as the disciples were going up to Jerusalem with Jesus. Uh, they had in mind, yes, that somehow when we get into Jerusalem here, that then Jesus will pull off some of his feet and kick the Romans out of our country and establish a kingdom, uh, a mercy kingdom, and we're well positioned here to uh, have places of prominence in it. <clears throat> well, as we all know, uh, <clears throat> what Judas had in mind didn't come about. Jesus was be, uh, handed over to the, the Romans to be crucified. And if that theory stands up, it could explain then why Judas went out and hung himself, <clears throat> uh, despondent that his master uh, now was being crucified. So, <clears throat> usually helpful to know a little bit about what preceded today's gospel. Um, and in chapter 13, from which this is taken in there, we have the foot washing ceremony. And at that, <clears throat> G 
Jesus made this statement. So you were clean, but not all. For tells it then, Jesus knew who would betray him, and for this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. And then a bit after that, Jesus gives an instruction on the meaning of the foot washing, where he says, I have given you a model to follow. The foot washing signifies Jesus' loving self-gift on the cross and the powers of the cross <clears throat> uh, communicated then to his disciples. So it is the power of the cross that uh, cleanses us from sin, but Judas had shut himself out from that loving power, and the, <clears throat> after Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. <clears throat> Jesus clarifies then in that instruction his remark not all of you are clean I am speaking I am not speaking of all of you but so that the scriptures might be fulfilled the one who ate my food has raised his heel against me and that <clears throat> indicates then of uh, Judas taking the morsel that Jesus handed to him. So, <clears throat> as we go into these <clears throat> days of Holy Week, uh, let us follow our Lord in his uh, passion and death. <clears throat> uh, and as we've heard near about two thirds way in the Gospel, after Judas had left, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. Um, <clears throat> so God is glorified in Jesus. <clears throat> the cross is the moment of Jesus' glorification, for in the cross God is revealed as self-giving love. And carries out Jesus' own words, where earlier he had said, one has no greater love to, than to lay down one's life for another. And Jesus did precisely that. And as Paul comments in one of his letters, uh, Jesus died, my, <clears throat> uh, died for us while we were still sinners, so that all the more proves his great love for all of us. of Jesus' great love for all of us and care of us, we bring now our petitions to him. <clears throat> for all members of the church, may Christ strengthen us as we share the good <clears throat> news of the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For leaders and those who carry responsibility for the welfare of others, may Jesus guide them in the ways of servant leadership. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who are struggling or suffering, may God's love and presence with them bring consolation and comfort. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those gathered here, May God open our hearts more fully and increase our faith in him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the many thousands of people throughout our world who have died from the coronavirus, for those family members and friends grieving those deaths, and for all those medical personnel and essential services people 
who care for us so lovingly during this crisis. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may they rest in the loving presence of our God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, your son Jesus has shown his grace the love for us by pouring out his blood uh, and atonement to, our, to atone for our sins. Help us always to trust in his uh, loving kindness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hand. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hand, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Look favorably, O Lord, on these offerings of your family, and to those you make partakers of these sacred gifts, grant a share in their fullness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and, just. and just. It is truly right and just, <clears throat> our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Stephen our Bishop, the clergy, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, <clears throat> O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. On you stay. Qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please join me in this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, 
I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gift, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which we have fed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May your mercy, O oh God, and the people that are subject to you from all seductions of former ways and make them capable of new holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.